Hello, I'm Dr. Prabir Basu, consultant urologist and medicine expert, and today I'm here to talk about the benefits, benefits of exercises, on, my dear friends, on your brain activity. Mm, nothing to do with urology. Okay. So many times you have seen when you've gone to the gym, you, basically what we do for going to the gym, we, we go to the gym for our weight loss and for building muscles. Now the visible impact of going to, for exercises is like that. You can be well seen. You have got the pumped up muscles at the end of a gym session. But the most important thing is the invisible aspect of doing a regular physical exercise. It has a positive impact on our brain function. So many times you feel that after doing a, a, a running session or a, a aerobic session or a session on the muscle training at the gym, that we feel not only pumped up muscularly, but also uh, we have this uh, sense of well-being and uh, deja vu. Okay, that happens, it happens. And it has been seen by different uh, researchers, uh, by different clinical work being done on this, that uh, regular physical exercise has actually uh, changes the structure of the brain for the positive aspect. In fact, it can protect and preserve the brain function for a prolonged period of time throughout our lifetime if you do regular physical exercise. In fact, some experts do believe that if you do physical exercise on a regular basis, it's very important that you keep your brain functions intact. So people don't suffer from Alzheimer's disease and dementia. That happens very common in elderly age group. Okay. Now, there's important factor on the memory function. Okay, memory function because as we age, what we normally do is the brain shrinks. So, what is the re what is the re clinical relevance of brain uh, our brain being shrinking? Is that we have a memory? We have a memory loss. Okay, but it has been seen that uh, just walking, huh? just walking uh, on the park and for 30 minutes in the morning, maybe not in the morning, maybe in the afternoon. What really it does is uh, for elderly individuals. It uh, decreases shrinkage, huh? the shrinkage of the brain, which often happens with aging. And it also increases the size of the prefrontal cortex. Now, this is a very important concept. Prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain which is the, known as the analytical brain, which also helps us in analyzing the problems, taking decision, decision making. Okay, this is very important for success mindset people. Uh, and second is it has been seen by, by a recent MRI study being done. It says six months of continuous, continuous low grade physical activity like walking, walking within the house, okay, for an elderly individual will actually increase the brain size over a period of time plus it increases the size of the hippocampus where basically it's all the short term and the long term memory cells are located. The brain has different functions, a different part of the brain has different functions. And it also helps in um, in, in uh, producing a typical, uh, a very unique uh, hormone. It's known as the BDNF. Right? It's coming in the in lot of uh, this literatures and lot of internet. You can see you go to Google and just type BDNF. It's a brain derived neurotropic factor. It has been shown. It it has it is only been produced in our body. There's no synthetic derivative, so we can't inject BDNF from outside. So BDNF, what it does basically it decreases the effect of cell death in the neurons. Okay, neurons are the nerve cells and also it helps in neurogenesis so new nerve cells are being created with time even if you are a aged person so for people with uh, this uh, parkinsonism people with alzheimer's disease dementia they're very common in this elderly age group now so if you do regular physical exercise you a lot of bdnf in your body There's a lot of bdf in your body it's always being circulated so this is a very important concept the next concept is the blood vessels. The blood vessels, you know, the brain is comprising the matter, the gray matter as I say, na, the brain mat material is about 3% of the total body mass. But it, but the cardiac output, which is the amount of blood which is being pumped by the heart, pumped by the heart, the different areas of the body, it, 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 it derives 15% of the cardiac output. So 15% of the blood flow, about 3% of a mass in our body. That means the cells not only did need the oxygen of the blood, for their well-being but also for their survival so if, if you have less amount of blood flow as happens when you are in a sedentary uh, not doing regular physical exercises then your brain cells will actually die out with time so it can happen even if even if you're not a elderly individual and that's a basically a very important thing to note third and very important thing is my dear friend is uh, a very important concept of inflammation so with aging, what happens is that the, the, the immunity goes down, immunity goes down and all these neuroinflammatory states, they arise. Okay, that's the what that's basically what happens in Alzheimer's disease. In Alzheimer's disease, what happens is uh, we have this different neuroinflammator uh, which floods our brain and it, it destroys the, the proper functioning of the neurons or the nerve cells. 
there is one scavenge this one there's one you can say a bodyguard against this this attack of this uh, inflammatory uh, inflammatory toxic materials is the microglia microglia is a supporting cells of the nervous system which actually destroys all these inflammatory mediators okay with time with inflammation with all these things aging the microglia goes down but if you do a regular physical exercise it has been shown that the microglia the ability of the microglia to resist this all this toxic effects from outside and also to destroying them uh, basically increases it's, it's basically saving you in a very uh, lucid way okay so that's the that's the basic essence so you can ask me how much do i need to exercise basically you have to do 120 minutes it has been said by literature 120 minutes of moderate uh, exercise it means a, a bit of aerobic activity on a regular basis and with with uh, with some amount of stretching because some amount of stretching is required because to release all this uh, uh, endorphins in the body okay endorphins muscles they stretch uh, they, because they become supple and also the because the muscles become stiff it also increases the stress on stress response and also it needs some amount of resistance strength so basically you need to have a proper schedule of this exercise and that that comes down to some about 20 minutes per day so if for 20 minutes of day of this exercise on a regular basis okay I'll tell you what that's that's the boils down to 2% of the total amount you sp are spending in throughout the day 2% okay if you do this for your uh, body i mean physical basically you look good you look um, muscular and you have a body of weight loss it also does good to your brain good to your brain so even even if you if you're doing it for your um, uh, overall uh, physical uh, build your brain is going to thank you in the long term so that's that's the essence i want to tell that's the, that's the point i want to put it across that uh, friends do regular physical exercise 20 minutes is enough just do a brisk walking do a bit of jogging you can do gym you can do some flexibility exercise like stretching so even a simple stretching exercise and meditation all these things now they will help actually go a long way in protecting your brain okay bye bye so if you like the video just please comment if you, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe the channel and please tell me what is the next video you want to ask me to uh, prepare for so till then stay fit and be healthy and i will see you again bye bye